Yo, yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Southern Nevada E, C79 here. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded a video. That's because no weather and or EAS activity has been going on. But that's going to change tonight because at 9.50 tonight um, will be the start of a few required monthly tests that will be happening here um, it, over here in the western portion of the U.S. So... Um, I posted uh, the full list in a Skype chat, and I'll pull it up for you guys right now. So, at 9.50 p.m., which is tonight, Utah will be having their required monthly test, and I'll be tuned in to KSL 1160. Then after that, at 12.05 a.m., which is leading into tomorrow at the time of this recording, Kern County will be doing their required monthly test, and um, if you want to catch that, here are the two strongest stations. Oh, crap, sorry about that. Um, here are the two strongest stations, ignore the first one because um, it barely has any kilowatts at night, but um, KERN 1180 and KNZR 1560 are the powerful stations to get this uh, test. I'll try the first one, but I don't think I'll be able to get that. And then after that, at 1.50 a.m., San Joaquin Valley will be doing their required monthly test, and you can tune in to KMJ 580. KMJ 580 is the strongest station because it runs on 50 kilowatts at night. And then you have KFIG 940. Not sure if I can pick that up. And then you've got, finally, Los Angeles, which tests at 4.25 a.m., and you can use KFI 640 or KNX 1070. I can pick up both of those stations extremely clear, so I will be able to catch the test on both of those stations. Um, but until then, time again. Sorry. 6.42, so we'll just tune in until 9.50. We'll see you then. Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Southern Nevada, EAS-379, here along with... Our Caltech 599. And the rendering radar 24. And, like I said earlier in my introduction, we are now in standby mode because of the Utah required monthly test that's supposed to be happening here in about four minutes. I've got my Sanjian over there monitoring KSL AM 1160 to catch the test. And I'm really surprised on how well KSL is coming in for me. We're just gonna sit here and wait for the test and we'll see you then. What? powered by Xfinity Hall. Hold on. The following is a They're relaying now. Emergency alert system. This is a monthly coordinated test of the broadcast stations and cable systems in your area. We are testing equipment that can quickly warn you during emergencies. Had this been an actual emergency such as severe weather, earthquake, or evacuation, the alert tone would have been followed by official messages. This station serves the Utah operational areas. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. And the test is now concluded. I got some of it. You got some of it? Just out of curiosity. Just out of curiosity, what radio did you guys use to catch it? I used my Sanjian Seal 100. Same. So did I. Alright guys, so that was the Utah test, but we're not done just yet. Stand by for more tests, this time coming, coming from California. See you guys in a bit. Tested a little early today.
Okay, yeah, just what I needed. The station now is clear before the EAS came in. Oh, I hate it when that happens. It gets so annoying, I swear it does. But, you know, this happens to me all the time. Like, when I'm DXing for a required monthly test, the station itself will become clear. Until an announcer says, like, this is a test of the emergency alert system. Then the station has to fade out as the tones are playing, and that what gets me mad every time. I don't know why it happens, but it just happens. I don't know if it's interference with this camcorder I'm using because it's electronic interference with the signal. I don't know what it is, but it gets me annoyed every single time. I don't know about you, DXers, but it gets so irritated with me. But... That was like a little glimpse of the Kern County test. Next is San Hokan. Stay tuned. I have literally been sitting here for 20 minutes. Just waiting for this test to relay. I don't get why it should take a station this long just to relay a test. That that is just ridiculous. They should just relay immediately. <sighs> Alright, well, that was a very unusual EAS event. To be honest, I expected to catch all the tests, but apparently I didn't. Either because one of the stations failed to relay the test, or the originator of the test did not send, send it out. And, you know, so weird to me because I don't get why you shouldn't send it out. I mean... You're scheduled to do so, so, and it's required as well by the SEC, so why would you fail at that? I don't get it, but um, hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, we've got one more test for the um, month of June, and that is the Southern Nevada and the Western Nevada tests. Um, I am not entirely sure if if I will be able to get the test, because... According to the um, required monthly test schedule for Southern Nevada, it says that the National Weather Service will originate this test. And I am not sure because the National Weather Service in Las Vegas said before that they did not relay a required monthly test, even though the test schedule said that they were supposed to. So I'm not sure if they will originate a required monthly test, but it doesn't hurt to just go ahead and just try it out to see if they will. Um, but stay tuned for that coming up in the next few days. Also, monsoon season is coming up really soon, so expect a lot of severe weather alerts from me and as well as other surrounding areas. So, uh, thanks for watching. More vids to come soon. And until peace.